when I'm listening to that African love child, shit name by the way, it's like, <laughs> what is this piece of shit I'm listening to? I mean, what the fuck was he thinking? Are you serious? Are you serious? Do I even know this artist? Don't you ever fucking talk to me like that again, you little prick. I'm so sorry. You know what? In future, if someone asks you to give a critique of their work, don't rip out their fucking gizzards and hold it in front of them. I mean, what are you? What the fuck do you know? Nothing. I literally know nothing. What you did was very spiteful. But it was also very brave. Very honest. And I respect you for doing that. However, the content of what you've said has made me hate you. So there is a layer of respect, admittedly, for your truthfulness, peppered with hate. Hateful respect. I'm sorry. It's over. It's over. Look, Francis, if you're a homosexual, you can tell me, all right? I'm not going to oh get mad. Oh my I'll God, understand. will you cut it out with all that homosexual stuff? Seriously, it's really starting to freak me out. Look, if you want to know what's wrong, I'll, I'll just tell you. Please. Look, I, I'm in love with someone else. And I think we should break up. Since when? Since a few months ago. What's his name? Oh my, enough with that already. It's a she, she's a woman. And she's beautiful and she's intelligent, sophisticated. And what does that make me? I didn't mean it that way. It's, it's not a comparison. Look, don't get upset. No, no, I'm not. I'm not, Francis. No, I'm leaving. Because what I was thinking was, you know, as soon as we're going to be working together again, hopefully, um, we should put everything behind us, you know, and, and just like start afresh. Yeah? yeah. Don't be so nervous. <laughs> Come on, the boys are back. It's good to see you now, yeah? It's good to see you now, it is. <laughs> yeah, you did well off my money though, didn't you? What? I said you did well uh, enough off my fucking money. Uh, <laughs> Not a penny to my wife. A penny to my kids. <laughs> After what you did? See, I'm back, Mickey. And I'm gonna run this show, yeah? So if you wanna be a part of my crew, you gotta fall in line. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <sighs> yeah. Now, where are those Jammy Dodgers? I choose not the suffocating anaesthetic of the suburbs, but the violent jolt of the capital. And that is my choice. Even the meanest patient, just even the very lowest, has some say in the matter of their own prescription, thereby she defines her humanity. I wish, Leonard, for your sake, that I could be happy in this quietness. But if it is a choice between Richmond and death, I will choose death. I'm just kicking the tires on this one, but further to the drink, what I was really wondering was whether there was any circumstance in which there was any chance of your sucking me off. <laughs> or something similar. I'm I didn't know you were that way inclined. I'm not. Only it's the last day of term. I've gotten into Oxford. I thought we might push the boat out. I don't understand this. Reckless, impulsive, immoral. How come there's such a difference between the way you teach and the way you live? Is it because you're a teacher and I'm a boy? Obviously that. You know, well, why? Um, who gives a shit? I don't. You've already had one master touch you up. Is, is that what this is about? You're afraid of being like Hector. You won't be. How could you be? Hector's a joke. Bacon. 
All right. Let's go for a drink. I had a baby, Pete. And I gave it away. What? I had your baby. And I gave it away. Are you serious? I wanted other things. I don't understand. Well, one day you're there, and then all of a sudden there's less of you. And you start to wonder where that part went. If you'll get it back. If it's living someplace outside of you. And then you realise it's just gone. I know how you feel on certain days by whether or not you go to the bookstore. And I know you hate your job and you don't have many friends and sometimes you don't feel as wonderful as everybody else and you're a little uncoordinated. <laughs> and feeling like you're the only one who is as separate and alone as you are, and... I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you! I think that you're the best thing since Spice Rats. And, and I would be just knocked out a million times if I could just get a first kiss. And I will come back in the morning. And I won't be distant, and I will call, obviously, if you let me. But I still don't drink coffee. All right. <laughs> you are real, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Can I ask you something? I had a plan. When you say in one of these boxes... I had a plan! Each box was numbered, and there's a piece of paper with a number and a corresponding description to the contacts of each box. Where's the piece of paper? It's in one of these boxes. I had a plan. I grew up on a farm. You grew up in a condo? I grew up near a farm. I was cute, and I was peppy, and I always did well on my 19th century English literature, my term, until you came along and sucked me into this life of crime. Hey, I'm not the you one who- You white collar crime boy. You know what they do to girls like me on that cell block? I've seen those movies. Yeah, so have I. Yeah, I'll bet you have. Look, I now really- sell my farm girl ass for a carton of luckies. Hey, seriously, I think you need to sleep for a while. I can't yet. Because in one of these boxes is FedEx receipts and memory markets for any gifts or packages sent to senior staff. And in one of these boxes is a piece of paper which says which box it's in. I'll be in my office. Your office is down the corridor. About 200 feet from here. Try not to commit any funnies on your way. Yeah. I'll do my best. Yeah. very clear to me that if I cut a little piano, I was going to get a little response. I don't think that's accurate. I don't? No. Because up until now, what I've been getting from you is these meaningful looks over a dinner table and a lot of vague suggestion about a day after tomorrow. Look, I'm not conscious of having given you any meaningful looks. And as for the day after tomorrow, well, this is the day after tomorrow. And unfortunately, I'm seeing you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a bath. Hmm. Yeah, it's convenient for you to be fake looking for something I'm when I'm trying to talk to you. I'm not fake anything, all well, right? I'm looking for some bath oil. Yeah, some bath oils. Yeah. Some bath oils. Oh, what about that one, huh? And how about that one? What about some jasmine? And how about what some What are you mud? doing? What are you doing messing around this crap? I don't find your language very well, charming. Well, it's direct. Anyways, which seems to be difficult for you. I'd like you to leave now. Is that direct enough for you? When I wake up now, I am... Um, before I open my eyes, I... I listen. 
for his laugh because that was how I woke up every morning for like so long. I would wake up and he would be just standing at the end of the bed laughing because <laughs> he thought it was so funny that grown up slept. Now when I wake up, my house is... It's just so silent. <sighs> Cole has this tattoo on his back of the angel Gabriel. And when I wake up, it's the first thing I see. And it all comes rushing back and I want to fucking die. in here, man? What happened to that chair? What the hell happened in here, Charlie? Yeah, she took all the money and she left, man. That twat robbed you. My God. What did you do, Charlie? I didn't fucking do anything, Paulie. Okay, I didn't hit her, I didn't do nothing. You can't do that, man. I mean, you don't, you don't abuse him every once in a while. There's shit all over you. I mean, I'm not saying you walk around morning tonight whacking him upside the head like someone from the other side, you know? But you gotta terrorize him every once in a while, you know? You know, it's like, it's like when they embarrass you in front of your friends, you know, you gotta give them a backhand. You know, not out in the middle of the room like some sort of fucking animal, you know? But nice, like, in the bedroom, you know? Huh? Boom! What is this? What am I, you know? Some kind of asshole? Boom! Another one! Oh, shit! What is this? Some sort of fucking joke? You get your coat, and you don't say goodnight to nobody! You understand me? Huh? That's to keep him humble. Regardless of what you think of me, Bernie's a decent guy. Yeah. A straight shooter. He's a real square G. Yeah. Snared him like everyone else. Just because he's different. People think he's a degenerate. People think he's scum. Well, he's not. He's a fucking loser. Look, what do you want, Tom? Okay? You want me to stop seeing Leo? Why don't you just fucking say so? I want you to stop spinning Leo in circles and pointing him where to go. Yeah, I forgot. That's your job, isn't it? I'm gonna do what I have to. To protect Leo. Now I'm asking you politely. For me. To leave him alone, because... I don't have to ask. Because if I told him about our little dance last night... You'll pull the dryer pretty fucking fast. Yeah. So what's yours? I don't like being threatened. And I don't like being played for a sucker. Now that game might work with Leo. But it's not gonna work with me. What the fuck, lot? Are you them all? It's Christmas Day, you know? What got so bad? It wasn't you. Or any of that. I killed my dad. Jesus. It wasn't Combo. To be on your own with that? Lol, I'm so sorry. I know. I mean, I wanted you to move in. But I'm having second thoughts now. <laughs> yeah. That's... What would I do without you, hmm? I've been so lonely, you dick. You can't call me a dick. You fucking <laughs> are, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you a dick, you are. I don't know who I am anymore. You don't have to cook. <laughs> it's not. You spent the entire weekend reading that stupid book and your mom and Mort, they were trying so hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you don't have any friends. Well, 
I don't need anyone else. I have you. That's a lot of pressure. Well, you don't have any friends either. <laughs> I used to. I had a lot of friends. Did you? Yep. Okay. I'm... I'm really lonely. Because otherwise, you can see it in my face, I wouldn't hurt a fly. But when I'm scared, the mind... Your mind? No. The mind? It could be mine, it could be yours, it could be anybody's. It's all in here, okay? You can't get to it. You can't control it. That's it great. controls you. You don't want to please. Look! When I cut her, she screamed. But what did she expect? She scared me. So I did no wrong. Well, that's fair enough, Mr. Brain. But like I said from the beginning, we are here to talk about Rachel Solando. She's a sick fucking cunt. She drowned her own kids, did you know that? What kind of person drowns their own children? They should be gassed. All of them. Every single one. The, the faggots, the retards, the killers. You drown your own children, you deserve to be gassed. Could you please stop doing that? I mean, I wake up some mornings and I feel like actually something good's gonna happen today, you know? I'm just a regular guy. I got a regular room, I got a regular job, and now I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy, I'm Bob. Fucking you are, nuts. you're actually really crazy. I was dropped in my head as a baby. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, I already knew that. Well, why don't you go downstairs and you tell your friends you're gonna stay with me tonight and you come back up and bed down with this crazy guy? I'd really like to. Um, but I can't. I'm someone else's old lady now. I'm... I'm at Rick now. It's gas, isn't it? There we were teaching that little brat how to steal and now I'm working for him. Things really get screwed up, Bob, don't they? Yeah. Kind of. My thighs are burning. Okay. <laughs> They're like red hot, raw burning, you know. Feels like I've had an epic fuck fest with a ghost. <laughs> um, I don't know if Hannah's gonna be coming back. She left ages ago with Adam. What? But, um, she knows I lost my job and she was supposed to console me today. Yeah, I know, but she hasn't been very good about keeping plans these days, or really any days. Yeah. Mm. She's actually never been good at keeping plans, no. so. And then when she apologises, she looks like you're going to shoot her in the head for it, even though it's her fault and it was her fault, like. Yeah. Have you ever noticed that when she gets dressed up, she'll like put on a nice dress, put on nice shoes, do her hair, and then like leave her forehead all shiny? Yeah. Yeah, it's like you've come this fucking far. Just wash your forehead. I know. Bloody hell. Just think about it for a minute. Think about what this money could do for us. You could finish this house. You could pay off all that debt to your dad. I mean, it wouldn't mean anything. It would just be one night. It would just be my body. It wouldn't be my mind or... Or my spirit. I mean, we slept with other people before, right? Yeah. So why don't we just think about it like that? I slept with Bubba or Ruzio, for fuck's sake. If I can sleep with Bubba, I can sleep with anyone. You slept with Bubba Ruzio? You knew that? No. No, I didn't. 
When? Around the same time you were sleeping with that slut, Olivia Daigle. Olivia Daigle. And she wasn't a slut. She was. No, she wasn't. Yeah, she was. Mm -mm. Unfortunately. <laughs> Let's change the subject, okay? Let's bring the focus back to Jelly. I mean, what's rooted than talking about someone else who died when we're in the process of burying a close friend? What should we do? Well, I've only been to one of these things. You seem to be the expert. We usually say something. Okay. Well, I'll go first. Um, Jelly, I don't really know you that well, but from what I hear, you were a great pet. Had a little trouble with the wheel. It's not funny. Jelly. You were a great hamster. I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't take the wheel out of your cage. Goodbye, Jelly. I hope you liked me. You can be such a prude. Do you know that? Why? Because I don't want you skinny dipping with other men. Because you don't want me doing anything. You've all these rules, but you don't tell me what they are, and now I've broken one, and now you get to be disappointed in me. Do you want to know my rules? Don't fuck other men. Don't let them think about fucking you. So now I'm responsible for what people think of me. Yeah, you are responsible. <laughs> you act a certain way, people think certain things about you. Like when you take your clothes off at a party, people think you're a fucking slut. I appreciate if you wouldn't do that. Is that clear? Fuck you. I am not your child, and you don't get to tell me what to do. Hmm. Wanna bear? What? I reckon I can make you do whatever I want. What are you gonna do? Tie me up in a basement? No. I don't have to. Okay, so you want us to send her where? To like a psychiatric hospital or something? Well, your father's gone. Well, I wouldn't say he's gone as much as he is dead, but yeah, I see your point. Legal guardianship for you and your sisters, with my recommendation, should be simple. Okay, so let me get this straight. What you're saying to me is, if the three of us cooperated with you, with the commitment all around that we'd be uh, less likely to sue your ass. What? Mild cognitive impairment. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Do you really think you can stand in front of a judge and make a case for a few radiation treatments and chemo causing brain damage? Do you target people who have been mean to you? I'm kind? No. No, I kill people I like. Do you feel sympathy? No. No, I'm helping them. You think I'm crazy? No. I think you're creative. And I think you have a lot of pain that you're not dealing with. Mm. My mother's worried about me. Oh, well, yes. Mm. She's a cocksucker. <laughs> I mean, literally, she's a, a cocksucker. I took the guy off next door all the time. My dad found out and he left. Left me alone with a cocksucker. Can you imagine? <laughs> How sick is that? <laughs> No, I'm not crazy, Dr. Harmon. I just think the world's a filthy place. A goddamn horror show. Look, I'm sorry. I should have told you. What do you expect me to do with this? Hmm? I expect you to use it. Is it clean? Is it clean? What do you mean, is it clean? I mean, if you took money from this account and put it in a check, put the check on the desk of any one of a hundred people trying to put me in jail, would this drag me further into hell or help me get out? 
It's as clean as every other dollar we've ever made. It's such a fucking bullshit answer. I can clear it on the books about What it sounds okay? like you should do is leave it right where it is. Okay, because I'm going to forget this conversation never happened. And you can use that when they try and throw me in jail. What is your plan exactly? My plan is to get it done, okay? Not as a fucking cheat. You are too much. You are too much, you know that? You've been walking around here your whole life, Mr. Fucking American Dream, like all of this happened because of your good luck and your charm and your hard work. Well, this is America, okay? But this isn't a dream. And it wasn't your luck helping you out all those years. It was me. It was me doing the things that you were too afraid to do. You stole from me. Abel, you have always been so good at not letting your ego get in the way of business. Don't start now just because it's me. Okay, so, um, what about you? What, what do you do? I work at uh, cultural media. What? <laughs> ah, it's basically a television museum. Oh, yeah. okay, so um, you watch a lot of TV then? No, no, uh, it's television history. Yeah. What's on there? I have no idea. I tried to watch one of those housewives of Idiot Town and wanted to jump off a building. Mm. Oh my god, so I watched one of those with my sister recently. Yeah. I'm like, I actually could not believe it, like they've no brains, none. Like, fake cheekbones, and, like fake boobs. Do you, do you like fake boobs? I like real boobs. I have real boobs. Well, we got that going for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how long are you divorced? <laughs> You want to see me agitated? I can be aggravated, infuriated, frustrated, and vexated. I think this conversation is upsetting you. You know what I find upsetting? Being in here. I want you to get me out of here, okay? I don't care how you do it. On a plane, train, most drawn chariot. I'll go on a bus or a taxi. <laughs> I don't care what. A bus, huh? I came with the bus. Who was at the back of the bus? People. A woman holding a clucking chicken. Oh. Did you say anything to her? Yes, yeah, I keep that chicken quiet. Keep that chicken quiet. And then what happened? Nothing. I'm back to the front of the bus. And what happened next? Nothing. It was quiet. It was quiet. It just stopped making noise, so there was something wrong with it. The woman was crying. She killed it. She killed a chicken. Oh my God. What's the chicken? What's she like? Really? Yeah. Uh, well, she's... Her name's Samantha and she's an operating system and she's really complex and really interesting and it's only been a couple of months, but... You're... <laughs> You're dating your computer. She's not just a computer, she's a real person. She doesn't just do whatever I want. I didn't say that. But it's... That's really sad that you can't handle real emotions, theater. How did you know? What? How would I know? Yeah. How would I know what? About Say it. Real emotions. You couldn't handle me, so you wanted me to go on Prozac, and now you're madly in love with your laptop. Sleeping around, skipping school, selling drugs. I thought you'd gain control over that. Adderall isn't a drug. What would you call it? It's like a fucking vitamin. I was providing a necessary service for the youth of this city, so get the fuck off my back, okay? God, this sucks. What does? I just feel like such a fuck up today.
Have you ever noticed that every time you talk about your birth parents, your father is always someone different, yet your mother always remains the same? No. Like sometimes he's a novelist, other times he's a race car driver. Today he's a doctor, yet your mother always remains the same, a degenerate crack whore. So? I'm just wondering what you think of that. I don't know, I must be a misogynist or something, or maybe I think all women are useless because I'm gay. I'm losing my eyesight. <laughs> That's what they tell me. What are you talking about? I'm not seeing what they want me to see. The, the editors, the magazines. So what is it that you're seeing? You. Pieces of you in, in everything. You're in everything. Fucking everything. <laughs> Pieces of you, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. And now I just shoot things. You know, bridges. Sky, walls, things. <laughs> things that don't have eyeballs, things that don't have blood. <laughs> things that don't have a heartbeat. Let me ask you something. Do you love me? I don't know. You can't even give me that, can you? Jesus, Jack. What were you planning on doing, hmm? I have no idea. Were you gonna walk out that door and just drop me a note when you met somebody new? Is that what you were gonna I do? I have no idea. Bullshit. Like, if you're gonna hurt me, why don't you just hurt me now? Not this, like, drawn out hurt that takes up months of my life. Because you don't have the balls. Like, what have you been doing here? Seriously, can you answer me that, please? Hey, we what have you been doing? This, so you what did what? I get? So just... What did I get? Seriously, what did I get that I couldn't have got from any, like, no-name man any night of the week? Can you tell me that? Like, do you think your company is so charming? Like, your moods and your pain and your fucking problems. You think this has been fun for me? What do you want to be with me for, huh? <laughs> Because I fucking love you. Mom said you used to be okay, but then you got crazy and now you talk to yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, Matthew, I think that there is only so many traumas a person can withstand before they go on the streets and start screaming, you know what I mean? And that's right. They did pick me up when I was talking to myself. And then they gave me a dose of something called Edison's Medicine. You know why they call it Edison's Medicine? Do you know why? Because they use electricity to make you start thinking again, properly. You know, everything just unraveled so quickly. I started to get anxiety. I started to, you know, get claustrophobia. And then, you know, I had this like acute fear of death. You know, I started to get nightmares and I had a fucking nervous breakdown. And you've heard of um, Prozac and lithium, right? You know what they are? Well, they, they just made everything worse. <laughs> yeah, they did. And, you know, of course, I think that I had a feeling that, you know, what Hal was doing was 100% above board, but, you know, I think you'd have to be an absolute idiot to think that, you know, his phenomenal success was completely above board. And then, you know, <laughs> he started to, to, to see other women, you know, and then I just, I just, I just freaked out. And then the rest, as they say, is history. But, uh, it doesn't matter now because <laughs> I've met someone and I, <sighs> I'm a new person, you know. <laughs>